Hi guys, Garth here from DCS Hacks. Today we are covering a landing on an aircraft carrier using a straight in approach. Now this does tend to intimidate a lot of people, but if you can land on speed on a conventional runway, then you're going to be fine. Today we're flying around the Rough Rider or the Theodore Roosevelt, and we're going to do a few drills that will hopefully make your life a hell of a lot easier when you're approaching the boat. So, I'm going to start slowing it down as soon as we get to 250 knots. I'm going to start thinking about putting that gear down and the flaps down. So our goal is to basically get the velocity vector centered on the E-bracket. So we're going to slowly keep applying positive trim. Perhaps a little bit of power and there you have it. On speed signified by the amber donut to the left of the hood. So we're around about 2200 feet and I want to use on speed control to get down to 2000 feet so I'm going to pull a bit of power off as you can see we're below the horizon therefore we are losing altitude once we hit 2000 I'm going to put it back on the horizon trying to get it as close to 2000 as I possibly can there you go once I've got that set up I'm going to apply a little bit of power and try and get back up to 2,500 feet. There you go. So the only control inputs on the joystick are to keep the aircraft wings level. The rest is just pure power control. And once we get close to 2,500 feet, I'm going to pull a little bit of power off and bring the velocity vector inside the E bracket back down towards the horizon line. Yeah. And once I've got this established, I'm going to do exactly the same, but send myself back down to 2,000 feet. So pulling off a little bit of power, about 3 degrees maybe. Keeping an eye on the altitude. And as soon as we get close to 2,000 feet, I'm going to apply a little bit more power to bring the velocity vector inside the E-bracket back up to the horizon line. Hopefully as close as I can get it to 2,000 feet. And we're doing all this by simply adding and subtracting power. So getting close to 2,000 feet now, applying power, putting the velocity vector on the horizon, and hopefully we're close. Close enough, I think. So now we need to start thinking about applying these basic principles on a proper straighten approach to a carrier. So here we are at about four miles on a straighten approach to a carrier, fully configured for landing. BRC114. Now do yourself a favor, guys. Be at 1,200 feet on speed at three miles. The ILS will help you. And at 3 miles and 1200 feet, the ILS needles will form a perfect cross. At which point you need to reduce the power and think about putting the velocity vector on the boat. Just riding it down the glide slope. Minimal corrections at this point. Putting the velocity vector just to the right of the main deck structure. Trying to adjust the power to keep the ILS needles centered if you can. So at 2 miles we want to be at 800 feet, so that's a nice little cross check. And at 1 mile we want to be at 400 feet. Nice stabilized approach. Things are looking good. On speed. Just taking it nice and easy. Making minor adjustments here and there. Got visual of the ball now, looking good, centered. <coughs> A 
approaching 400 feet now in the groove getting close, passing the wake of the ship meatball lineup angle of attack keeping the velocity vector in the crotch of the ship making slight adjustments now and just before we hit the deck apply full power keep the power on and then take the power off OK 3 wire nice so hook up folding the wings gonna taxi clear of the LA so guys I hope you found today's DCS hack useful if you did, please like, leave a comment, or maybe subscribe. So you guys have a really good day, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.